Hi everybody and welcome back to another tutorial from my Simply series. Today I'm going to be going through the third piece in Simply Country called Horse Trail and I hope you enjoy it. If you like the sound of what you hear and you want to purchase this book then the link will be the directly coming up above me now or there'll be a direct link to where you can purchase it in the description bar underneath. So if you want to learn how to play Horse Trail then please keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is play it all the way through then I'll take you through some parts of the music. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice is that the tempo says it's lively, so it should be played at quite a fast pace. I would suggest to, the, to you that you just play it a lot slower to start with, so it's more... So it doesn't have to be rushed at uh, the fast pace that I played it. What Eventually what you want to do is try and build that speed up a little bit, so you can... So you can kind of get it going almost like a like a hoedown kind of thing. So that's the kind of speed that eventually you want to aim for. Um, there's lots of kind of awkward little quavers that are going on there, especially in bar three and bar seven, those kinds of things. So it's just a case of slow practice. And I think where you might come unstuck a little bit is where you're just crossing the strings um, in a very short space of time. So if I play bar three... So that can all get a little bit confusing there. You know, you can get yourself into a... Yeah, and end up doing all sorts of things there. So just work it through slowly. You know, so just keep playing it over and over and over, not over and over, nice and slowly, so you get the hang of that. What you can also do as well is is write the fingering in the music. There's the first four notes of that bar do have some fingering in, but it's up to you if you want to put some more fingers in. You know, it's your copy, it's your book. You can do whatever you like with that. Um, there's no other real kind of tricky bits in there. There's a couple of G sharps that you've got uh, towards the kind of middle sort of area, especially in bar, you've definitely got some in bar 11, which is the end of the third line. So what you wanna do there is stretch the third finger. So I've got a red dot for the first finger, I've got a green dot for the third finger. So what I would do is my third finger goes on the green dot and my third finger would just slightly stretch above it. So if I had my third finger on the green, let's say I were to just put my fourth finger down just temporarily and took it away. Can you see it's just slightly above the green there? So the third finger, instead of going there, it's just gonna stretch slightly above and that's gonna give you a nice G sharp there. So don't forget to do that, otherwise it's gonna sound a little bit odd there. I mean, actually, to be fair, now I'm just playing it through, you could get away with doing a G natural if you wanted to. They both actually go quite nicely. So um, so there we go. I've just um, altered my own music just right there on the spot. So it's completely up to you if you want to do a G sharp or a G natural. The music says to do a G sharp, so stretch that third finger. But like I said, if you chose to do a G natural, it's not going to be the end of the world. Nobody would know, and it still sounds just the same. Um, the final little thing I need to mention is just the last bar. You've got some, what we call some double stopping on the last note, which means you're playing two strings at once. Now that's not quite as scary as it looks. So all you're gonna be doing 
I'm talking about the very last note here is playing a third finger for the D which you play on the A string so that gives you a D and an open D underneath it and all you have to do is just try and make sure that third finger is just staying as far away from that D string as it possibly can so when you play when you play the last bar and then try and play those those two strings together it's completely optional if you actually want to do that if you just want to go that would sound great too but just gives it a little bit of just just a little something because the whole thing's kind of finishes the whole thing off nicely because you can imagine kind of people dancing to it so it is completely optional it is totally up to you whether you want to do that but it would sound good so just take that bar nice and slowly you can even slow down at the end to just to sneakily give yourself a little bit more time you know until you get that going a little bit faster so thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out all the other videos in all the other series. There's five series in total with these books, each with a different theme, and they've all been written specifically for, for you guys in mind. So they're, they're nice and simple, just nice little tunes, nice and simple for you guys to manage. And the, everything will be in the description bar directly underneath this video. So thank you for watching, and I shall see you in the next video.